Right. So uh, PIM is the unwanted presence of intermodulation products uh, in the highly sensitive receive band uh, generated when two or more uh, signals uh, pass through a passive device with nonlinear characteristics like the similar metals. Uh, this is now a more prominent consideration in 5G with high utilization of available spectrum and, and modulation schemes like cyclic prefix OFDM, which has a higher peak power, all of which makes networks more susceptible to PIM issues. Um, if high levels of PIM are, are allowed into the receiver path, it can lead to uh, system performance degradation and, and uh, uh, reduces the sensitivity of the receiver uh, uh, and could inhibit communication completely. System level PIM can be minimized uh, by selecting components uh, that, that are designed with attention to, uh, to mechanicals, uh, material selection and manufacturing processes. Um, something that uh, network owners or designers would also be need to be wary about is, is uh, the impact of harsh outdoor environments like coastal regions or, or tunnels uh, where higher humidity or wider temperature range and, and, and uh, in coastal regions especially the presence of salt uh, can cause rust in the network components over time and this uh, again generates PIM. Um, with, with the use of uh, guaranteed PIM specifications of like NEG 161 or, or lower uh, can allow you to, to keep your overall system PIM below the noise floor and reduce the impact of, of PIM on your, on your network performance. Thank you.